hello again everyone and uh, I just put this fly here to set the focus where I'm going to tie the fly. Uh, today I'm going to tie a small fly, a spay fly, thunder spay. So I'm just going to use a short bit of uh, Maybe that was a little too short. Uh, extra small black fits tubing, which I will burn a little color at the rear. Like that. And we'll wait for it to dry a bit. And and we just put it on the vise and I'm tying with a black thread 12-0 because it's quite a dark fly both dark and bright and these flies I really love to use in the late season and autumn for sea run brown in our rivers they work very well and I will start with, since it's blue front hackle, I will use just a little bit of a, a Mickley Blue SSS dubbing. I use that on the, the little bigger spay tubes I tie. So just wind it on up against the edge and just a little bit forward. And then we take our little dubbing brush and we dub out a few strands. Like this. And we're gonna start with a with a ring neck pheasant in burnt orange. You can do this in bright orange too. I think that's most common, but I would like my orange a little more discreet than that. So just start with the first turns as close to the dubbing as you can. Pull back the strands. As tight as you can. Let's see how it looks. I think I'll make three turns with a burnt orange one. And we lock that in. Two, three, four, five tight turns. That little lump of dubbing is helping me to get the strands a little bit out because these I mostly fish in in quite slow running waters. And then we take a black ringneck pheasant and tie it in on my side and the hackle plier again. These flies are very simple to tie, just a lot of winding of hackles. as close to the first tackle as you can. And let's see how it looks after two turns. I think, I think we make three turns with this one as well. You can make them as sparse or as fat as you want and then vary them a bit 
This one I can use in the dusk or in the dawn for it gets too dark or before it gets too bright in the day. Like that. Now we have a sunburnt orange and a black. And I like them a little better if I take the longest one first with the orange and a little shorter in the black and then in the blue soft front tackle a little shorter than the black. Personal preferences. And a little triangle again. Tied in by the tip. This is a soft tackle. So again, lock it in on my side. And hackle plier. And I will try to be a little more gentle. Gentle. What the hell? These stems are so thin, but I want them thin because it, the end result gets better. But it, okay, so I don't have so many choices left. Come on, this stem was shit. Last chance. Lock it in. This feather was a little bit fluffier, so I just made two turns with this one. And there it broke again. But I have secured it before. Oh, let's see if this is a fly that I could put on my leader. Yeah, I think so. This, this is the biggest ones I tie. Spay flies. Uh, I like to make them smaller and, and more sparse when we fish during the day. So one turn with each or two turns with each and so on. Now we're going to try, because it went so bad with their other hackles, we're going to try to tie on a... Uh, what are these called? Guinea, guinea fowl, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. I took away the strands on one side because they're hard to fold back to get to look good. So I saved the side that I thought looked the best. And then we cut just like we do on the other hackles. Tie it in on my side. And then the hackle plier again. This is just a little extra. I don't usually tie, tie on these, but this gets to be a fat one. I just hope to present this to a hungry big C. Ron Brown. Like that. Take away a few of the strands. And this feather also as close as you can, of course. Then we lock it in. Two, three, four, five. I think it looks quite good. Uh, 
and then I thought that I will use uh, orange dyed jungle cock feathers just to get it a little flashy. And lock it in with three loose turns. Like that. And the next one, same spot and the same length. That was a little up like that. And then I look from above, so they're the same length. I will try to tie this one in. One, two, three. And this needs to get a little bit oh no it by itself and this one yeah I'm okay with that and now we're gonna finish this off with a micro turbo tungsten cone head so we get a little bit of weight in this one and I will use the orange metallic one which makes it a little more discreet than if I put on an, a bright orange I have a few of those too if the water is a little murkier and now I take a little glue on the thread And try to wind the thread on the same spot with loose turns so I can press in the micro turbo tungsten cone head with Fredin, no, not Fredin's, Niklas Bauer's uh, pike tube. But just grab in the back to push against and then push this down. that yeah it's okay could have been worse and could have been better but I think that I will put it on my leader and take it out of the vise check so the colors are spread uh, evenly around the body. I think it looks quite good. This is a pretty fluffy spay fly. But I will tie them much smaller than this also. And then we cut it off, leave about one and a half to two millimeters. Melt it down until it touches the turbo cone and then I put it on my vise the other way around to make sure that the little hole is good like that and now we put it on again these flies are really simple to tie and uh, I almost never use this guinea fowl feathers that was just for today, today's filming. But I think it gives a kind of cool effect, but I don't think the fish mind at all. But it looks cool and this fly will swim in the near future in a river hopefully filled with sea round brown so uh, thank you very much for watching I uh, hope you liked it 
and uh, I will tie lots of these. And uh, if you want to follow my YouTube channel, I would be very happy. And just click the picture of me here. And if you want to see another film that I tie to fly, just click uh, the little square on here. Thank you very much for watching. And I will see you soon again. Bye bye.